So I'm gonna be checking out the roots, potting up my air layering, and uh, I've already got them labeled. We're gonna see how they go. So first I removed any of the old figs. We've had a uh, several frosts and um, a good hard freeze one night and all the figs had pretty much dried and died. And um, so remove those first. So the wood is not necessarily all, it's hardwood, but it's not necessarily, uh, the tree is not necessarily dormant right now. It hasn't been that deep into the winter. So I'll come in here and cut this off. Again, if you haven't seen my air layering video, look up in the corner right about there, right about now, and watch that one first if you're interested in it. But this is how we're gonna just take the cutting and we're gonna pot a bunch of these up. Basically what I did was to air layer the limbs that I was gonna prune off anyway. So I'm not really wasting anything. Uh, and the ones that uh, I only did about two per tree and could have done a lot more now because I've got a lot of caddy wampus limbs on some of these that I would have taken off normally. But uh, what I'll do is come in here and I'll just cut those off and prop propagate those like I normally do, just placing in them in some, uh, some potting uh, mix. So, Continuing taking the cuttings. Make sure if you do this, you got everything marked. You don't want to mix them up. So I marked them real good before I ever started this. Well, the two LSU purples did not have any roots. Those are the LSU purple. I mean, got maybe a little something starting right there. But nothing. I'm going to go ahead and put them in some potting mix and propagate them just like they are and this one here has got some roots and I just broke them off I can see on the outside there was some roots right there and I treated it a little a little more harshly than I should and broke that root off so I've got to be a little more careful. We'll cut that off and I'll propagate that. I've got it painted. That's called a lemon fig. Put some white um, paint pen. And that's the roots that I broke off of that other fig. So I've got to be real careful. I didn't realize they were that brittle that tender I gotta be careful with that so that was a lemon fig this is a black mission let's see what it's got and you know the the potting mix is really pretty moist I'm just wondering if it's not too moist they said you need to squeeze it out, and I did. I squeezed out all I knew to squeeze. So I'm gonna cut these cable ties off. I held it together. I don't see any roots on this. I'm gonna try to be real careful. That one does not have any. I've already done two of these about a month ago, and they had a real good root system. That's why I brought you out here for this. I was just, uh, certain that these were going to also so far no go all right this one is a an alma a l m a uh, i don't see any roots on that one we'll see see any roots on it hmm maybe a little hair root that I broke off but if it had any it didn't have much this one is a black mission 
The other black mission didn't have nothing. And I don't see anything on this black mission. Again, maybe a few hair roots started up in here, those little white things, but I don't see any roots. I don't see that I broke off any. I'll show you the first two. I've had them potted up. I've had them potted up for quite a while, for almost a month. That's why I thought these would be so good because I'm waiting a, an extra month on these. Now here's a pretty nice one. It's an LSU gold. I'm gonna try to be real gentle with it, although those roots are pretty big. Uh, let me get a knife. Get a little utility knife and split that bag. Split it here. Up on to the top of it. Those roots are pretty heavy. So, kind of hard to tear those up. But that looks good. That looks really good. So that is an LSU gold. When I get through, if I've got several like that, I may pot them up individual. I probably will pot them up individual. I've got pots, pots standing by. I don't throw away pots. When I get something from the nursery, I do not throw it away. Uh, you know, I've got room to store stuff, and you may not, but those pots come in handy. I don't see anything on the outside of this. Nope, nothing on that one. I'm, you know, I'm real, I'm disappointed in this. It could be that I did not scrape that down far enough for the cambium. Now that looks like maybe a little root starting there. You got two, three little spots. Looks like maybe some roots starting right there. So I think it'll make it. I think I'll make some, I think I'll make um, some plants out of it, some trees out of it, some cuttings, some viable propagations out of it. Here's another one, got some. Got, I see some roots on it. So let's cut into it and see. This is a tiger stripe, which is a yellow fig. Again, let me cut. Try to cut this bag off kind of carefully because the root is right up here by the top of that bag, that green part. I may have just pulled it loose. Well, I thought I saw some roots. Yeah, I did. I pulled, I pulled one of them off. But it's trying to root, so I have a feeling it'll do pretty good. I'll cut it off where it'll go in that pot good. Stick it down in that pot. Yep, nothing there either. So it will go in the pot. I'll cut it off here. I want that scraped area well below the soil line in that pot. We're starting to get, take these leaves off. We're starting to get some. I see some roots right there if I don't tear them up. Plus, there's something started right there and I can't tell whether it's gonna be a root or a bud, an end tip, growing tip. Probably a growing tip, but it's pretty close to that soil. So can I get that without tearing it up? Well, here's some more. I got some here, 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 here. If I can get them out of there, and I apparently I'm not very good at that. I 
So it's more about, there's a whole lot to it about get, getting it out in one piece. There you go. I done good. Got a good root there. And that, I believe, is going to be a root. You got a growing tip there, maybe, or a root there, and then that. But I'm going to put that in an individual pot. Like I'm going to do all these with roots, I'm just going to put it in, in an individual pot. But here's the cuttings. Most of you know, if it's the top of a cutting, I'm, I make a square cut straight across. And then if it's at the bottom of the cutting, I do an angle cut simply so I'll know which way is down. That's just my way of knowing. Because sometimes you, the, the diameter of the cutting doesn't uh, doesn't change. It's about the same. Well, this one is this one's bigger at the bottom. Be easier, easy, much easier to tell. And then something else I'm going to do is mark it. I had to put this paint pen in my waistband because it wasn't wanting to work. It's a little chilly today. So that's LSU gold. I'll put a LSUG on there. Well, here's one, an Alma. That's not bad. I'll pot it up and it sprouted right above where I scraped off all that. So it's got not too bad. That one should take that one should take root for sure. I'll put that in there and fill the soil up to about right here when I get done. So these are the two that I showed you earlier that had the good root system. It's LSU Gold. Both of them are LSU Golds. I did four LSU Golds and two of everything else. But uh, so these had great root systems. I just uh, when the um, freeze came the other day, the leaves died off, and I I went ahead and pulled uh, leaves off. And they had some good figs on them too, so uh, weren't quite quite right. But I mean, they were healthy trees. So I don't know why these two made it and the other ones didn't. Well, it could be that I didn't scrape down, didn't take enough time, didn't wasn't careful enough to scrape down that cambium layer, uh, and you know through that cambium layer, that green layer, and that's why those others didn't root. I don't know. And I'm a little disappointed in that. But I try to show you my failures as well as my successes. So that's the way we look right now. Anyway, we're gone.